Hello guys, welcome to Buddha's Place. Man, it's, it's not a good week. It's really, I'm pissed. To put it mildly, I'm thoroughly upset. I, this, this whole thing that's happening with this country has really, really got me irked. And what's really irked me more than anything is that yeah, a lot of there's people out there don't give two rats asses about this whole thing. They don't care. They don't understand. They don't care. It's not going to bother them. It has nothing to do with them. What, what is it going to do to me? It's not going to do nothing to me, so I don't care. And that's what half of the problem is in this country. My personal feelings, my personal opinion on how this thing went, we're not even going to get into that. We're not even going to get into how I personally feel about this whole thing. Because it doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter how you feel. You had better know, in no uncertain terms, that people, massive amounts of people, are going to die. And it sucks. What sucks about this more than so than anything else is that there's memes, there's memes up on there's all kinds of people cracking jokes. Like this is funny. I watched a, a thing on Twitter where people are just, you know, well, they're not gonna come get me. I'm I'm OB. I've been Iraq. I've been. I've been there. I've been. I worked there as a contractor. I worked around soldiers every day. I. I was in the Navy for twenty years. I couldn't. I was, I was too old to go. But you guys don't get it. Some of you guys really don't get it. I watched a video with. with uh, with someone who today who said, you know, that they don't understand why, why I, I, and I apologize what I'm about to say, but I'm going to go ahead and do it, why blacks join the military. Or why they stay in the military. <laughs> you guys really have to understand opportunity is why people go in the military. I went in the military to make my life better than what it was going to be. That's why I joined. That's why I stayed. But I want you guys to understand something. I'm, I'm like really hurt that a lot of people don't get this. This right here is no joke. This is like the possibly one of the worst things that could have happened. And you guys don't understand that. Because you've, most people have never left this country, went somewhere where they don't left the country. Some people have never left their state, their city. This is big. It's huge. And I never wanted to talk about this. This is not what I wanted to talk about. I had told myself that I was going to try to do something different. And I've been sitting here, today's the 6th, and I've been watching this for four days, and I'm just getting madder and madder and madder. Because it seems like nobody really gives a damn. They don't care. Well, my my brother, my son, my cousins, none of my family's in the military. So don't, don't bother me. It has nothing to do with me. <coughs> 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 yeah. 
You don't get it. This, I don't know if people understand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I want you to listen to this for one second. We have a we have a process in this country. Democrats, Republicans, they're not talking to each other. They're not talking to each other. Divided. We have, uh, what do we have? Antifa, the left, we have the right, we have progressive, and uh, man, we have everything, but everybody's against everybody. We have Americans and Iranians, we're against everybody. We're against everybody. We're, nobody has the, I've always said this, I keep telling people, sometimes you got to sit down and talk. This is not one of those things where somebody's going to talk. People have to die in order for people to sit down and talk. This is what this is. And it's sad. You have no idea how many people are going to die. Oh, just so you know, there's going to be some American boys over there. There's going to be some contractors, civilians, Americans. There's going <coughs> to be people all over the world of all different race, creeds, colors, nationalities, they're going to die. So what's going to happen? You guys have really got to take some of, I'm not talking about everybody, but some of y'all need to sit down and take a, take a minute and reflect on how it would feel to know the person that's about to die. Don't worry about how they're going to die. Some are going to die by fire, bombs. Some are going to be shot. Some are going to be stabbed. Whatever it takes to get a death done, that's what's going to happen to them. Stuff's going to fall on them. Oh, yeah. Total pain. Just unbridled carnage is about to happen to people who really... Most of the time, have nothing. To, they're trying to live their normal life. I don't understand how we can continuously go to the mall when things we we have got to. I oh my God, this is driving me nuts. We have got to figure out a way to make our government work better for us. We gotta figure it out. We gotta figure out a way for us. Let, I, I'm, this is my last, this is it, this is it. Because I, I this is it. <clears throat> Somebody asked me, well, if I rat, no, didn't ask me. I'm not gonna say they asked me. But somebody was saying that if Iraq wants us to leave, then we should take all of our money and we what whatever somebody else in the government said. I want to show you this. I want to, I want you to think about this for one second. I invite you to my home. Oh wait a minute. Excuse me. Not to my home. You invite me to your home. You have rules in your house that I cannot do. Uh, please don't do this. No, please don't do that. Please don't do this. Respect my home. You're, you can please feel free to, to act like you live here, but please respect my wishes and don't do these certain things. You act like my rules don't count, like it's your house, and you do what you want to do. So I ask you politely, hey, can you please leave? And what do you tell me? I ain't going nowhere. You don't tell me when to leave. I tell you when I'm leaving. 
That is the scenario that is being played out right now. That same scenario. So how the hell would you feel if somebody came to your house and treated you the way that we're treating them? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say them? Iraq, us. If somebody came to your house and treated you like that, you'd be pissed off too. So what we have to do is we have to sit down and start talking to people and stop all this, I, I'm, I'm the bad, bad man on the damn street. The people, the people who are banging the drums to war, the ones that want to go to war, have never been to war. The people who don't care how many people get killed have never seen anybody get killed. Oh well. I I just had to vent and uh, there's a video down below if you want to watch it. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna tag a video and put it down below. Please take the time to watch it. You guys have a wonderful day. I know I apologize if I've made anybody upset with what I said. But it's how I feel and I don't really give a damn, honestly. I but I don't I, I don't want to hurt my feelings, but that's how I feel. So y'all have a lovely day. Thanks.